It's time for our annual corn picking video. That's right, we're in uh, Heat Wall Thrashing Association shed in, near Hutchinson, Minnesota, and which is just where I happen to keep my 1940 Alice Chalmers WC with the Model 33 corn harvester. Well, if you, you guys tuned in last year, you will remember that we were gonna make one more round with this fine piece of harvesting equipment, but the, the water pump sprung a leak and it was uh, spraying on the head. It was leaking out of this here hole. So I guess we've patched a couple times before. Yeah, they've smeared something on there. And uh, yeah, so if you look in there, there's a bright, shiny Persian orange water pump that I, I had to paint and replace, but hopefully it won't give us any tr troubles this year.
Well, this year it went pretty smooth. Last year it plugged up a lot more. And uh, this year it only plugged up two times. One time I stopped so cameraman could catch up. But the, uh, it just, uh, the elevator plugged up the one time. We got that going and then the other time the, the gathering chain started getting pretty full. And we're it was like stacked up so then I stopped, let that clear out. But other than that, it picked pretty good this year. Uh, one of the favorite questions every time we make a corn picking video is to ask why uh, we don't pick two rows at a time. Well, this here uh, uh, corn picker was designed for, if I remember correctly, it's 41 inches from center to center. That way you could pick 44 inches wide or 38 inches wide. And it just bend the stocks in a little bit. I think that's what the manual said. And uh, and that's way too wide for the, the row spacing this is planted at. It's planted at 30. So it'd bend over and just break them off, you know. And a lot of corn would drop. That and the, uh, the population that it's planted at too. Like the corn's like so close together now. Like even just picking one row at a time, that's almost too much for it. It can't. It, it, it almost can't process it as it is right now so so that's why we pick one row at a time and uh, yeah that's the main question and as uh, I'd like to uh, to thank everybody for um, all our viewers and subscribers for tuning in for these past past uh, few years that we have three years that we've uh, that we've been on YouTube and uh, I'd like to thank the Heat Wall Thrashing Association for uh, letting me park this in their shed and letting me um, yeah just being a part of their stuff and I'd like to thank uh, Corey Hankey for letting me pick his corn and uh, helping me source parts for that thing and I'd like to uh, thank Kevin who I bought it from and I'd also like to thank Thank Jimmy for recording it. There you are. I think that's it. That'll be a wrap for this here.